Oh, you're early. I've got breakfast. Mum's always going on about not taking exams on an empty stomach. Oh, well, the good thing about the A-levels being almost over is no more early morning study sessions. Oh, I didn't realise they were such asshole for you. Oh, they're not. Don't be silly. I just really like a lie-in. Well, this will wake you up. A skinny latte with caramel. I stopped off at that Italian place on way over. Well, you shouldn't have, Rose. But I'm not going to deny that I could do with one, thank you. Did something happen? No, it's nothing for you to worry yourself about, Rose. Right, are there any areas you think could do with a last-minute brush-up? Oh, go on, tell me. I might be able to help. No offence or anything, but it's not exactly work-related, so... Well, I'm hardly going to spread it around the sixth farm common room, am I? It's silly. I... I had a fight with my girlfriend last night and we broke up, that's all. You have a girlfriend? Had. But she wasn't very happy with my work-life balance. You're a teacher. You've always been a teacher. It's not as if the hours have changed. Oh, she thought you were spending too much time with me? Well, she didn't say that. But she wasn't exactly thrilled when I had to cancel dinner last week to stay at school and help you with your presentation, so... OK, we're going to do chapter three, and I'm going to go and finish getting ready. It's just one of those things. I guess I'm a bit crap at relationships. If you ask me, she needs a head wrench. <laughs> you got to test me. All right, I, just, I can't remember anything. I've just I've forgotten everything. Whoa, Philip, I think the best thing you can do at this late stage is try and breathe and keep calm, yeah? Yeah, exactly. Well, you, you, you're not going to help me? Hey, there's no chance your mate will go easy on us in the French oral, is there? So, burps. Not taking this serious. I appreciate your enthusiasm. Honestly, Adam, I really do. Don't let me run with this. I mean, think of all the kids whose first stop when they leave here is, you know, the chippy or the burger van. I mean, this takeaway idea could really change things. Yes, it could, if we had the budget. But it won't cost much, like I promise. I'll use the leftovers from lunch. I'll even donate my own time free of charge. You know, there's nothing I'd like more than to provide healthy after-school meals for the kids, but... It's too much organisation, and this week I just haven't got the time. Right, look, this is my project. I'll do all the work, as long as you promise not to steal the glory when it's a massive success. <laughs> Come on, Rachel. Just... Well, trust me, will you? OK. But don't let it get in the way of your other work. It won't. I promise. Well, I imagine that there's going to be a few nervous sixth formers milling around, so if everyone could do their bit and, you know, just keep them quiet around the school hall, that'd be great. And can I just say a big thank you to everyone who helped out with the APU scheme this term? Well done, everyone. Hopefully, we'll have Waterloo Road's first Oxbridge undergraduate by the end of the summer. And, lest we forget, I'll be going around collecting all your odds and sods for Mr Clarkson, see if we can't afford to get him a bunch of flowers and a few DVDs to keep him amused while he's laid off. I mean, you'd think that two weeks' respite from this place would be present enough. Thanks, Steph. Uh, will you tell Tom I'll be around to see him later in the week? Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, morning. Morning. You two have barely said a word to each other for days. Have you had a barney? No. Right. Come on, Scrooge. <clears throat> a quid? Well, he is a mate. Right. I'm going to count this and then I'm off. I am hiding from someone whose name begins with R and ends in Y. Did I ever invite her into my house? Trouble in the girls' dorm, is there? I nearly have to get written permission to have a bloke stay over. Well, that's what happens when platonic adults share a roof. They either turn into hippies or enemies. Um, do you want a cup of tea, anyone? Um, yes, please. I can do yours with skimmed milk if you like, Stephanie. Now you've got a boyfriend, you don't want to get a tum tum, do you? Mm. Lucky I've got you to keep me right, hey, Rubes. Maybe it is time to accept your differences and go your separate ways. Or maybe I should just be more tolerant. Oh, by the way, I popped into the chemist 
and I got you these. They're like nasal strips, you know, to help with your little snoring problem. I think you might be a little bit adenoidal. Mm. Thanks. That's it. Separate ways. Four? You mean I've got to wait for three people to do their exam before I can get this rubbish out of my head? This is so not fair. Why can't we go first? Because it's in alphabetical order. A for Alicia. OK, everyone, I want you to take two stimulus cards and head to the quiet room, please. Morning, ladies. Ready for your oral examination? <laughs> <laughs> do you want it, boy? You were stressed enough here. What do you mean, you're stressed? Oral is for talking, and with a gob like that, you're bound to get an A. <laughs> Oi! If you're not doing friends, do you want to do one? OK. Fill up. Hey, remember, use that gob of yours, it'll get you far. <laughs> Morning, Miss Lipset. Hi, Joe. Two cards each, and then over to the quiet classroom, please, where there is to be absolute silence from everyone, and I will call you when it's your turn, OK? Gary Appleby. Hey, shut up, you. OK, I'll ask him. All right, see you later. That was your dad. He wants us to join him for dinner tonight. Tonight? Actually, I think I might be busy. Well, I'm to making an effort, eh? Fine. Dinner. Kim, how do you fancy a slap-up meal tonight, courtesy of Mead Senior? Oh, um... Oh, come on. You can keep him company while I'm smooching with Ollie in the corner. <clears throat> oh, crack a smile, face sake. I'm only joking. What do you think? Actually, I, I think I... Kim's trying to say that she's busy. Yeah, uh, I've got a, um, an antenatal. Sorry, Steph. OK, Ros. Whenever you're ready. French oral exam. Student Ros McCain. Aujourd'hui, je voudrais parler de l'expérience des immigrés algériens en France. Chris. Have I done something wrong? I mean, it's not like I'm dying to go for dinner with you and stuff, but I, I did just get the impression that you weren't that keen on me coming. I just don't think it's a good idea, that's all. Is this something to do with what, what happened at the hospital? Look, I just think that if we're just friends, let's not complicate things. Won't do us any harm to keep our distance. I, did, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I've just... I've got a lot going on at the moment. It's not a pillow stuffed up my dress, you know. I know that. Not that it matters to me. Well, it matters to me. After everything that's happened with Max and, you know, now I've got the baby, I, I just want to concentrate on that. I don't think it's the best time for me to be starting a relationship. Fine. We're just friends. I accept it. Just give me a bit of space, yeah? Let me move on with things. Thank you, Ros. I don't suppose you can tell me... Absolutely not. Completely against school policy. What I will say, though, is... Well done. <laughs> <laughs> if you do that well on the written this afternoon, you're going to be getting dropped off outside a student accommodation before you know it. I can't believe I've done it. I got you a present. <laughs> it's just to say thank you for everything. I could never have done it without you. Rose, it's, it's lovely, that. Thank you very much. <clears throat> I've got loads of other exams to do, so... It's me and you in the park, remember? Mm. Half an hour studying, two hours chatting about random rubbish. Yeah, but we were chatting in French, so it does still count. Well, yeah, but how many people can you do that with? Just talk for hours. You've been so good to me. Oh! <laughs> no, stop, stop! Stop. OK. Uh, OK. Sorry. Bad timing. Rubes, can I just have a little chat about our living arrangements? Yeah, of course you can. Oh, do you know, I know we haven't always been the best of friends, but I'm always going to be so grateful for you for taking me in, Steph. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, it's just that... Living together yeah. has been, um, 
has been a nightmare of biblical proportions and she wants you out. Grantly. Well, would you rather dance delicately around the subject till we all expire of boredom? Oh, just, just ignore him, Ruby. I, I, I didn't mean that at all. It's just that um, the arrangement has always been, has it not, temporary. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. I mean, it goes without saying that you can stay there until you find yourself somewhere decent. Well, I mean, there's no point in being polite about it. I'll just get out of your hair as soon as I can. <laughs> Girls, shh, there's an exam going on. Can I have a word, please? Yeah, of course you can. Uh, this is awkward. Maybe I shouldn't even be talking about it. Joe. Mm. Ross McCain tried to kiss me. Well, I just came to see how you're doing. It looks like I got my answer. You just steps asked me to move out and I... I haven't got a clue where I'm going to go. Where did you get these from? Well, it's just a few tablets. It's no big deal. Rachel needs to know about this. No, Adam, please. Look, Rachel's got me on a final warning. And I'm just hanging on to the job by the skin of my teeth. OK, then prove to me that you can do your job. Go one day without taking any pills. I know it'll be hard, but... What if we get you something else to focus on? I'm starting to run a takeaway service. Get involved. Well, well I... But I don't want any excuses. It'll be good for you to have a clear goal for the day. Help take your mind off these. OK. Now, are there any more where these came from? You don't have to treat me like a child and actually take them off. You can do this. I've got no idea why Ross might have gotten the wrong impression. No, none. I mean, I've always been completely professional around her. Oh, no, 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 I don't doubt that at all, Jo, not for a minute. It's just I need to know all the facts before I speak with her. She probably just got carried away, you know, spur of the moment kind of thing. I mean, Ross is always so sensible. Yeah, but it's not always easy to be sensible when you're a teenager with a crush, is it? I just don't want her to think that having feelings for another woman's wrong. Yeah, but when that woman's a teacher, acting on them isn't an option, is it? No. Oh, don't worry, Joe. Honestly, we're going to get this sorted out. I don't see any need to involve anyone else. Yeah. Well, I, I thought it was better to tell you straight off, so... Thank you, Rachel. Well, you've done the right thing. Get enough junk mail at home, thanks. Do you know there's very important information in that flyer, young man? Haven't you ever heard of computers, miss? Photoshop? No one's gonna read something that looks like it's been under some skanky old hype either. You're right, you know. That thing's not gonna convince them to sign up for anything. Um, what's wrong with it? It's clear, it's well laid out, it gets all the information across. And you need something that's gonna get them talking, Rubes. Oh, uh, yeah. You, like those adverts you see sometimes, it doesn't make any sense, but then the next day, everybody's talking about it. It's like all over the internet. Well, make the walk before you can run, yeah? Do you know, I've always fancied myself as a bit of a creative. I don't suppose you fancy giving us a hand, do you? No chance. I'm quite enough to be getting on with. Rose, you, you think about all those kids who don't have a hot meal to go home to. Do you know all the ones who don't have, like, a responsible, hard-working mum like you? What do you say? Scrap these. We'll think about something really good to get the playground buzzing. She didn't tell me my grade exactly. Not in so many words, but she said enough so I knew I'd done well. I thought the test had to be sent off to the exam board before they were graded. It's, it's pretty unprofessional. She's just flouncing around well, telling... Well, she's not just telling anyone. She can trust me. Right, silly me. Don't be like that. I'm sure you've done fine. I'm just lucky I've had Joe tutoring me all term, that's all. Mm. Maybe when the exams are done, you stop going on about it for two seconds. You are? 
Ross, can I have a word with you for a minute, please? Yeah, sure. 